good evening ladies and gentlemen it's really wonderful to see you all with me this evening with uh, renuka and myself and it's really kind of you to have found the time on a weekend to come down and spend this valuable time with us india today is a 2 trillion dollar economy just 7 years back we were a 1 trillion dollar economy the growth is 7 and a half percent but this growth has come with a flip side a flip side which is today nearly an urban epidemic in 1991 when a very quiet prime minister and we all used to joke that when in doubt pout sri narasimha rao and his very very brilliant finance minister opened the doors of this country to the forces of globalization and india was never the same again but that led to certain changes today in our schools for our children scoring 100% is not enough when they get admissions to schools of instruction business schools again they have to do exceedingly well the stress levels are extremely high and when they get placed only the buses change and from the buses which take them to colleges now you have buses which take them to these new industries whether it is the it sector banking services the huge multinational firms which have established their campuses here and then you have these young people sitting in front of computer screens for 15 to 16 hours a day along with globalization came mcdonalds kfc pizza hut and sedentary along with a sedentary lifestyle came terrible eating as well what has resulted is the onset of early non communicable diseases there are so many boys and girl, boys and girls you find in the icus today with a cardiac arrest at the age of 30 cancer diabetes technological addiction marital discord challenges of the dual salary syndrome the list is endless but it is something that is today an urban epidemic something that should disturb each and every one of us somebody took notice of that in 2006 my lovely wife renuka set up a wellness center in the city addressing these issues she was willing to talk to anybody who was willing to listen she was addressing colleges schools clubs like the rotary the lions club anybody who was willing to listen but the one man who was not listening to her was the man across the bed they say that the longest distance in the world is to reach out to your spouse and that actually happened and two years back two years back she said i think we need to set up a conclave and today the conclave has happened thanks to her constant persistence to make this happen however no word on health and wellness in this country can be complete without a conversation with the father of modern and private health care dr pradap reddy the chairman of the apollo group apollo chain of hospitals 
So three weeks back we went and sat with him. And we spoke to him about it in his office. And he said, this is not a moment too soon. Just last week, I lost a close family relative, a favorite nephew, who used to take me around Bangalore to a fatal cardiac arrest. He was 41. We were sure that this is what we had to do as part of our extended corporate social responsibility as a group of companies. And so therefore, last week, at the weekend, we had a conclave for Young India, addressing corporate executives and students. When we asked for registrations, the hall was over-registered. And from 9.30 to 4 p.m., these young men and women, these children, sat and listened without budging to inspirational speakers and panel discussions, addressing their concerns. It was a moment of realization that we were doing something that was worth doing. But then why this conclave? Why are we here this evening? The reason is every person who is sitting here today is a corporate head, is a decision maker, is a thought leader is a social influencer. And as we see today that in the urban milieu, the only revolution, the only disruption and innovative ideas can emerge from the well-heeled, the well-educated and the upper class. It took a man, a multi-millionaire like Sam Petroda to come in the 80s meet the Prime Minister and explain to him the idea of the telecommunication revolution. And soon we saw yellow boards springing up across the country of the ISDSTD booths, the small public-private partnerships that revolutionized the country. Telecom Wise connected us and set the base for the mobile revolution that we see in the country today. It took a reasonably young man who was doing phenomenally well in the International Monetary Fund to give up all that and come and be the governor of our central bank, the RBI, Raghuram Rajan. And if he has contested consistently the cutting down of interest rates, if that had not happened, today's inflation would not be under control. And when the yuan sank, we would have also sunk against the dollar. It is the well-educated, the well-heeled, well-to-do member of the intelligentsia who can only disrupt and who can disturb the status quo in the urban milieu. And that's the reason why we have come here this evening. I'd be failing in my duty if I did not thank Uzma Irfan, Irfan Razak's lovely daughter of the Prestige Group, if she had not also come forward, they were very keen to partner with us. Though as a large business group, we didn't want any outside sponsors, but they are powering this conclave this evening. I'm very happy to have them by my side. I would be failing in my duty if I did not also thank our wonderful guests of the evening, Shabana Ji, and Javed Akhtar Saab. In today's screechy television channels in the evening, when we are all the time trying to find out what the next person said, there are always two voices of beautiful reason in the midst of all that. 
voices of balance of conviction of immense intelligence and that's why we felt that if there has to be somebody leading the thought flow on work life balance it has to be them and we are very grateful to them for having found the time to be with us this evening <laughs> being a former military man we always wear a uniform and there's great trade unionism and if there is one man who's inspired the nation by his exploits and today at 86 still plays three rounds of 18 holes of golf we couldn't have expected a better wellness icon for the first edition it is my great pleasure and privilege today and great honor to have by my side sri milka sen the bigger the dream the better has to be the team and i like to name an honor some of the members who worked tirelessly to make this happen priya gautam who is selflessness personified shreya shah from the prize water house coopers suresh menon ranjneesh siraj from the media brigade pagnathan and always may ever smiling secretary who wonders what next this madman is going to do daisy stephen thank you very much without your support this would not have been possible optimistic patriotism is the only religion and karma till the last breath nobody embodied this better than our people's president and a son of the soil from tamil nadu dr apj abdul kalam who collapsed and passed away after having addressed the students of an institute of management remembering him i would now like to disturb you once again with a small video that we put together thank you very much people are not aware people are not aware unless they fall sick they do not realize and then they come and say doctor i wish you had just told us about this had you just told us that we have to change our lifestyle so that my father and mother diabetic or i have cancer in the family i needed to do these health checkups had someone just guided us i'm sure we wouldn't have got affected by these diseases this year we thought we will affiliate with very important cause and that is the cause of urban wellness it's with this in mind that we decided to set up this year the radian wellness conclave my wife dr renuka has been involved in this particular mission for the last 8 or 9 years as a wellness expert and lifestyle consultant 
and we had uh, the Radiant Medi Fitness Lounge set up in 2006, where she has been counselling a lot of people in this particular area. She has been addressing colleges in the city and also different forums like the different clubs like Rotary and Lions Club, etc. In the Radiant Wellness Conclave... I'm very glad that Dr. Renuka David has pioneered and started this wonderful initiative called the Radiant Wellness Conclave and brought together so many interesting speakers who've been thinking about wellness and are going to shed light on different aspects of wellness. So I'm delighted to be part of it. I survived a bomb blast when I was 13 years old. I'm glad that I'm going to be part of this uh, amazing conclave. I think it's going to be a good cocktail of opinions and experiences. So I'm uh, happy to be one of the radiant uh, wellness warriors. Um, I think I'm a brand ambassador for that from now on. Today, looking at the amount of youngsters who are here to attend this conclave, which says children or the youngsters are paying a lot of attention. The Radiant Wellness Conclave, I think, is, is bang on uh, where it should be, uh, focused at the youth. Please take care of yourself. Life is just not about paying bills. It's about enjoying it to the fullest. The seminar addressed uh, quite a few uh, challenges that uh, individuals are going through today. Right kind of speakers, right kind of experience we're getting shared. I know how to set my future now. You know, first time people talking about not only the physical, but also uh, about inspiration, about, you know, mental wellness and also societal wellness. One of the main things which I liked was the uh, twin sisters getting onto the Mount Everest. Then after listening all those lectures, I was like, wow, this is nice. This is inspiration. But there's a whole different aspect of wellness which I came to know about today. Wellness of the mind, wellness of the heart, apart from wellness of the body as well. Isoleucine, leucine and lysine which are prescription or rather supplements that help you mobilize fat better. If you're really passionate about something, you can motivate yourself to do what you love doing and when you love doing something, you will never find, you will never have enough time to do it. In fact, my younger son and his family, they went to London for a while and then they came back. They liked it a lot there but they said they're missing the family and they were back. And that says it all. Depression is not a disease. Depression is not an illness that you should be ashamed of. It's something where you can talk about, you can, you can seek help. Take home need not always be through the prism of a salary, through your earnings, but the amount of quality time you spend with those who need you around the most, your family, your children. I don't have an MBA. I had a small kiosk at the marina, which I always say is my college or my graduation place where I got my MBA. So when you say I'm a cancer survivor, you got it wrong. I not only survived cancer, I'm truly alive. My mantras to success would be stay grounded, do not borrow money no matter what situation you are in, respect your colleagues, focus on work. One is you need to be focused on what you want and you will eventually reach your target and of course however the temptations and the hardships, I still think you need to believe in yourself. I think that deserves a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, what an impressive prelude to the high point of the evening.